Hey, good day. It's Mike from Flux Radio, and I wanted to show people FR Stack. And I think FR Stack is one of the cooler uh, programs that are available for everyday use uh, with your Flux Radio. Now, FR Stack runs on the PC, and it connects via the LAN cable to your radio. So you need to have your radio connected to uh, your switch or your internet or the LAN or some LAN cable between the radio and your laptop. So how do we find FR Stack? FR Stack, if you just Google it, you'll see that it comes up uh, right here. It's the first hit, and that's Fox Radio Stack. stands for Flux Radio Stack. And we open that up, and uh, Mark has done a, a pretty high-level job of all the things it does. Uh, you can read all the features here, and I urge you to, to have a look at the web page and, and see these are the features that you can use your mouse to uh, to deal with with the radio. And if you want FR Stack, if you scroll down to the version history right at the top, you'll see a download. And you can click on that and download FR Stack. And like any program you download, it'll start to download. And then eventually uh, you'll double click on that and install it. Since I already have FR Stack installed, I'll show you right here that that's the icon it looks like. And I'm going to start FR Stack. And uh, it comes up with, uh, this is cool, it comes up with a, a couple of different things. The radio that it comes up in the radio chooser. Now, this chooser is fairly common among uh, programs that support SmartLink. It allows you to check the radio you want to connect to. But um, it also uh, allows, says you want to update. So we're going to update. And that'll take a moment. Now, when you update it, it comes up and it says uh, a typical uh, licensing software terms. Please uh, take time to read this. This is important. I'm going to hit agree. Uh, again, there's a radio chooser and my FR stack is way up here in a different window. So I'm going to have it connect to my 6600. Now it happens to be uh, remote, but I wouldn't worry about it. And right away we see here at the top of the uh, manuals is my VFO. And that's great. And if I hover my mouse over, it tells me a whole bunch of things about my VFO and what it's doing. I'm going to reach over to my Maestro here, and I open up another slice. You'll see that that popped up. And maybe I'm going to take my other slice and um, uh, let's uh, change bands with it. So there we have. I have a slice on 80, and I have a slice on 40. Uh, we can see the antennas are, notice that they're different, uh, and I can change those around. Maybe I want, uh, I'm going to flip my... 80 so they're on antenna 1 and my 40s are antenna 2 and I'm using um, a 6600 so I can leverage having both antennas available at the same time. Now these uh, the stuff at the bottom is uh, most recently used bands. Uh, you can read more about it but if I uh, say I tune my my 80 you can see I'm tuning down to uh, uh, let's say I don't know 3690 or so. Uh, in a second You'll see it right here, 3690 will pop up. So now it says, hey, I was in 3690. Uh, a minute ago, I was in 3755. So this is like a band stacking register. Uh, very handy. Uh, you can have uh, memories. Uh, you can see the radio memories that I have. I've got, you know, CHU and a couple other things that I use once in a while. We can see my global profiles. Uh, and say, you know, I get too many here and they're old or it's confusing. You can actually delete profiles from here and say I don't want this default anymore I can just delete it and it's gone uh, and you can scan global profiles here's my mic profiles the bolded one is the one that's uh, active say I flipped on and picked up my cost headset which has a totally different EQ I can just click on it like that and now that one's active transmit profiles uh, same thing I have a you know my FT8 one uh, this one, again, if you don't like it, you could just delete it. So that's uh, what this does for profiles. We think, but some cool things are I can have, um, I can have it sync A and B slices so that it tracks or, uh, which is quite handy. Um, if you're maybe using some diversity work, uh, you can, uh, change a bunch of different things. You have access to EQ, uh, audio settings. Uh, there is no amplifier connected. It's not turned on. But if I was to turn on my uh, the PGXL, and I can just set mode to operate. And like a lot of programs, under uh, there's a whole settings for options. 
and uh, you can have uh, your stepper track. You can have some PGXL work done and set a whole bunch of features there. And I'm just scratching the surface and all the features Mark has written into FR Stack. Now, one of the latest things he's done, which uh, sort of blew me away and, and what it can do is this thing called Stream Deck. Now, this is a bunch of buttons, but what's neat about this is this is actually a control panel on my desktop. It's, it's a USB device. And you can go buy that USB device on Amazon. It's actually not incredibly expensive. And this is what it looks like. Now, the Stream Deck is made by uh, Elgato, and you can find them online. But it essentially gives you these 12, or I think they make a 32-button one as well, uh, multiple size buttons. These buttons are little TV screens. So when you go change a uh, and edit a button, uh, and you can put your own icon here, this is what you see. The other thing I'd like you to look at, 200 Audio, is this... Um, setting called uh, meter uh, level mute and it's uh, it's like a squelch so uh, you can use that by sliding the threshold up and down to mute your audio and it, it works reasonably well if you're somebody that maybe leaves your radio on all day and you want the audio muted unless there's signals uh, and if you're watching uh, smart SDR or you're watching uh, a maestro or an M model you'll see that the panels uh, will show the mute symbol in front of them until uh, a signal breaks. So I don't have that open right now to, to show you, but you can uh, go play with that. So one other thing, a couple of things I should show you, by the way, if you want to know what radio connect it to, select radios and go to radio list. You'll get your radio right here, and then you're going to connect to it. So let's, uh, and when you go to radio list, it does disconnect whatever you're connected to. So I'm going to connect back to my radio. Uh, you will, sh you'll get a pop-up and say that FR stack has connected. Uh, it has a couple of cool formats. I'm going to change it to um, uh, vertical. And you can sit this in the corner of your screen, and this will give you a lot of health of what's going on with your radio, your voltages, your uh, PA temperature, forward and reflected power and current SWR. Uh, you can change over to Fahrenheit if you like. Yes, I'm a Canadian, so it's in Celsius. Uh, and then as well, you know, if you're running a, a PGXL, like everything else, I can... Um, I can turn on some other things too, so I can see the amp temperature and uh, and et cetera. So uh, I find that incredibly useful uh, that I have sort of tucked away in a screen all the time. So that's uh, FR Stack. I, I urge you to have a look at it. I thought I'd uh, spend some time and let you uh, see what Mark has done with uh, FR Stack.